In news and mass now, with three consecutive Band of the Year titles under his belt, Blondie Board and Friends has its eyes on a fourth win this year with its presentation, Jewels of the Caribbean. Kristen John Dean visited the tent to see how things are shaping up so far. Well, I tell you again, with our skill, with your art form, with the art, if you, when you, our mass in our tent, if you go in our tent, our tent is a factory, really, you know. We have people walking, we have some dedicated people because they don't get paid. We are Angela and them coming from Mesco every day. We are the Rasta lady coming from Green Hill. It's every day them people coming, they do get paid. You know, and the kind of skill we do in our tent. Me really studying the West Bank in them right now. Enthusiastic and confident band leader of Blondie Bird and Friends, Errol Boyd, says they are charged and ready for the road come Mardi Gras Day, July 9th, 2013, with their presentation, Jewels of the Caribbean. Uh, have, um, this is one of our children's section here from St. Vincent. We do in the Botanic Gardens because if you notice, we still put promoting that. Anytime a tourist boat comes in at the first place, we still carry tourists. So we still have to do the gardens, right? This is one of our children, this is one of our children, Marsh. This is Sugar City. That's where they used to call St. Kitts, because St. Kitts used to promote him with sugar, and they still stop with the sugar, and there must be one place who still have sugar. Although they closed down many of the factories, they still have that. Um, and this is St. Lucia. Jazz and Pitan, you know, jazz now is the biggest thing in the Caribbean, is St. Lucia jazz. And you can't go to St. Lucia without seeing the Pitan Mountain. And, you know, Pitan is the number one day, too. Right, so we combine the two things together and we get jazz and pit and this one is St. Lucia. Right. Well, when you go to Guyana, you know, it's the indigenous people. That could speak for itself because Guyana, you know, the monk tribes and things there. So we do this one as the indigenous people. These sections doing well. So this one is Lightning Bowl. That is our favorite section. That's all inclusive. We do have the man party, but that's all inclusive right now for the band. The band doing this one, all inclusive for the self. And then we go to the Spice Isle which is Grenada, you know, we are Grenada there, we are Grenada Mass, and then, you know, you could see they say speak for itself, land the many rivers, you know, that's Dominica, right? And this is Antigua, and the sea sun and stars, as Antigua. This one is oil rich, this one, you could see this thing, this is oil rich, great. This one is Trinidad, oil rich, and Barbados, Harrison Cave, years ago they were playing Lord Nelson, now it's Harrison K. Barbie is promoting, so that's the basic topic of our band. Boyd says they are catering for 400 masqueraders, but what is of concern to him is that their regular revelers are logging behind with the registration process. The only problem is my people who was with my band for the last 19 years. Up to now, them people in register, and this is the best registration we ever had. So all the people registering our band right now is outsiders. It's only a woman from Sand Hill, Anna and she grandson, the only two persons who actually explode we have year done registered our band. All the other people coming from other bands and people coming from outside, some people never play mass before. And that's something good happening to we. So we ban we are no grievance this year. With Mardi Gras just around the corner, can the Guinness Y D Lima hits one or three point seven Blendy Bird and Friends make it four times in a row? All left to be seen when the results are in after Carnival Tuesday. Kristen John Dean reporting for Carnival Beat.